take a job as a public advocate, then you must advocate public, right? You must advocate for <laughs> okay. And yeah, and yesterday she said something which I found particularly disappointing, which is that she felt that the greatest change that she was going to, you know, the, 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 the biggest influence that she would have or the change that she would make actually would be behind closed doors. You know, nobody would actually know that she had made this change. <laughs> I thought to myself, well, that's empowering. I mean, <laughs> how old-fashioned, you know, this idea that behind a great man is a great woman. What about being in front of that person or next to them, standing on your own? You know what I mean? It's so, it's such an old-fashioned concept that to be this powerful woman, you know, you can't appear, you know, to be concerned with what you're going to feel, that somebody's going to think that you're, you know, that you're bitchy or that you're, uh, you know, I think a powerful woman often, you know, they get concerned with this idea that they're going to be seen in this unforgiving light and, uh, you know, screw that. It's so, it's so old fashioned and it's so, it's so, um, it's so uninspired and, and, and actually I think really cowardly. And I was just so disappointed by that interview that she gave yesterday. I mean, of course, it must be a very complicated situation on many levels. Um, I can't imagine how, how, un, how complicated it must be to see your parent, you know, go for, you know, in this sudden, you know, in the position that he's in and know deep down and not to deep down that it's a position that he never actually really wanted. And now he's in this position and finds himself there. And I think it's, it must be, I think as a daughter and as somebody that looks up to a, you know, a parent, parental figure like that, it must be pretty, it's a unique and strange thing. But she has an opportunity to really make a big impact um, just by being, just by being vocal. And, you know, I, I, I have met her several times in the past, of many years ago. We both grew up in New York and we have some friends in common and whatever. And uh, she's a very well-spoken and uh, smart and intelligent woman. And, and uh, you know, I think engaging. Um, you know, it's 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 kind of a uh, it's a it's a bit uh, I don't know it, it baffles me. The whole situation baffles me. 